China is helping Uganda bridge the health care gap. China is partnering with Uganda in providing free medical care to patients at the China-Uganda Friendship Hospital in the capital, Kampala. The Asian country has, over the years, been donating medicine and also sends doctors to Uganda to treat the sick. But as CGTN's Hilary Ayesiga finds out, more support is still needed. Fatou Mandagire is here for a maternal checkup. This is her fourth visit. The services here are good. After the doctor's advice, I will proceed to the counter to get free drugs. Before coming here, Ndagire was getting treatment from a private health facility. But there were no specialists and the cost of treatment was high. At least here, when you want to see a specialist, he or she is available compared to where I was before. The hospital was built and equipped by China at a cost of 8 million US dollars while Uganda provided land. The services provided here include surgery, maternal health, acupuncture and others. And they are free of charge, something that has attracted more patients. Doctors here say they treat more than a thousand patients daily with various illnesses. They are now concerned about the limited space to accommodate the increasing number of patients seeking treatment. The hospital has since been upgraded from a general hospital to a referral hospital. This has increased the burden of service provision. When you have a large number of clients, then they outnumber the available human resource. So that is one area where we also need to be assisted. Of course, the other one is the supplies, drugs and supplies. The government provides drugs and supplies. But because the number of clients is big, so they end up consuming the resources we are given. Uganda's doctor-to-patient ratio stands at 1 to 25,000, which is far below World Health Organization standards. Local authorities are now seeking more support. It is going to be uh, an, a center of trauma and emergency care services. So in so doing, that is a good arrangement. I'm sure if we work together with Chinese government and we provi provided uh, maybe space, the government of People's Republic of China, I believe, will be in position to put up another structure for this national trauma center. To keep the hospital running, Uganda plans to prioritize the health sector budget for this financial year to address the inadequacies. Hilary Esga, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.